Vacant house fires in the city of Canton has a lot of residents worried. Last night, another suspicious fire in a vacant home on Louisiana Avenue spread to the house next door. And as News Channel 5's Joe McGee reports, the man who lives there credits his best friend with saving his life. Raymond Sweeney is thankful to be alive today as he looks at what's left of the two homes. Sweeney says he got home from the Hall of Fame rib burnoff last night and fell asleep on the couch. The next thing he remembers, his dog Daisy May going crazy at the front door. Open up the door and the door went boom. And the next thing I know, we're sitting, me and Daisy on the street looking back at a big orange glow. And then it went boom, boom, boom. And I don't know what happened after that. Kent firefighters say the suspicious fire started in a vacant house next door. Division Chief John Whitlatch says the city has had about a dozen arson fires in vacant homes in the past three months. Everybody needs to know that uh, they're not all related. Uh, there's not like one single arsonist going around town. It's, uh, it's a variety of things that are going on and uh, we're investigating them all. We have some leads and some suspects and uh, we're making progress. Neighbors say they are planning some fundraisers to help Sweeney get back on his feet. He says he lost everything in the fire. Everything except what's most important. His life and his best friend. If it wasn't for my dog right there, I wouldn't be him. She got a Florida house taken coming to her. <laughs> In Canton, Joe McGee, News Channel 5.